Hello, and welcome to this hands-on lecture on building a communications plan. A common pitfall with projects is insufficient or improper communication. Making time at the start of the project to plan out a communications plan, and then taking time during the project to update it to ensure it's still accurate and reflects your needs is a great success factor and helps avoid that pitfall of folks not getting what they need, when and how they need it. So in this lecture, we're going to jump into a spreadsheet and build a communications plan. I happen to have chosen Google Sheets to do this. It's a free platform, very similar to Microsoft Excel and other spreadsheets. But I've also built communications plans in Word documents, on notepads, on whiteboards, in a Confluence doc. So don't be surprised if you need to use some other tool to build one of these out. Regardless of how you do it, though, it will be very helpful in avoiding the pitfall of poor communication. Let's take a look. Here in my spreadsheet, I've added a few column names. I have the communication, the audience, the medium, the purpose, and the date. The communication will be, what are we sending out? Is this a regular update, a kickoff call, so on. The audience is who will be involved in this communication, who will receive it or show up at the meeting. The medium is what kind of communication is it? An email, an instant message, an in-person meeting, a phone call, etc. The purpose is what am I intending to do with this communication? Just update folks? get help, get the team working together, and the date is when I expect to send it. Now, this could also be a cadence, for example, weekly or monthly, or if it's a one-time event, a single date. So to build my plan, I'll just start listing out some communications I think I'll be sending. I've got my kickoff call, weekly updates, maybe a quarterly review, maybe a user acceptance kickoff, and a user acceptance regular meeting. Now, taking time to think through what communications I send is important, and I can always add more as I go, but let's pretend these are all the ones I need for the project. For my audience, I'm then gonna think through for each of these who will be receiving that communication or be involved with it. So for example, for my kickoff call, the project team. Weekly updates, my senior stakeholders. My quarterly review will be all stakeholders. My user acceptance kickoff will be the UAT or user acceptance team. And the UAT regular meeting will also be that same team. The medium is how I'll send it. So I'll think through for each of these, what will it be? It might be an in-person meeting like the kickoff call. My weekly updates might be a recorded video that I then email out. My quarterly review might be an in-person video conference. My user acceptance kickoff, another in-person meeting. And my UAT regular meeting, another video call. Then I'll think through the purpose. What am I intending to do with each of these things? This is important because it will help me understand what I need to include in it and help me think through, do I have all the right people? Am I putting the right stuff in that meeting? So the kickoff call is just to build a sense of teamwork. And maybe to introduce the team to the project. My weekly updates are intended to make sure senior stakeholders know what's going on. My quarterly reviews are to provide a high level update for everyone. And my user acceptance kickoff is to get the UAT started and to enter the team to what a UAT is. And my UAT regular meeting is to perform the UAT. So UAT activities. And last, I'll think through what dates should be associated with this. So my kickoff call might take place in the first week of the project. In this example, I'm not using specific dates, but rather a rough timeline. But you could be very specific. Say April 7th will be your kickoff call. My weekly updates will be weekly on Thursdays. My quarterly review will be the first week of a quarter. My user acceptance kickoff will be one month before deployment. And the regular UAT meetings will be daily during the UAT. 
now I have a communications plan, something I can refer to when I need to draft communications or consider, do I have the right people involved? Reviewing this regularly will also help me uncover new communications I need to send, or maybe I need to tweak it. Again, this is a very simple example. You may build out a lot more communications, but I find myself doing this for most projects and even some smaller things. So there we have that communications plan. Very important for missing the pitfall of not communicating enough or not communicating in the right ways. As you saw, it only takes a few minutes to set up. After that, I might share it with my team to see what I'm missing and then adjust it as I go. So take a few minutes next time you're on a project to build out a communications plan. It could be a spreadsheet, it could be a whiteboard, a piece of paper, but you're going to find it's going to help improve your project success. All right, thanks for taking a look at a communications plan, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in that next lecture soon.